Hey guys, I'm headed to the premiere of Killers of the Flower Moon out in theaters this weekend. It's a Martin Scorsese film, one of the greatest directors of all time, with DiCaprio, with De Niro, and this is one of my most anticipated films to watch this year. There was no mention of the murders. Alright guys, so just got out of the theater. Great film overall. Killers of the Flower Moon is like a true Scorsese hit. I think this this like feeds into what he's best at driving the characters building the characters allowing the actors to actually embody their characters and i think he allows for as much time as he needs in order to uh pack a punch this is non-spoiler but you know that you're thinking that this is just a, a whodunit mystery type of um film uh surrounding these osage murders the osage tribe indian tribe uh murders but you know, it's not really because you're actually thrown to it knowing who's behind everything. And it's just this whole film is surrounding the characters and the journey they go through in whether it's uncovering what's happening, seeing the impacts of lies, deception, everything kind of rolled up into one and how that could lead to something else in the future. Um, definitely heavy emotional moments. I think one other key thing about this film is the the performances of acting. I think uh, Lily Gladstone, she could do so much with like, not even any course of dialogue, like dialogue driven. This is a heavy dialogue uh, movie, but even those scenes, uh, when she had a lot of, uh, of no dialogue, just seeing her face, like the shot just held on her face for a while and different types of scenes, right? You had emotional scenes, you had like funny scenes as well. But I don't know, she could do so much with her eyes and her, her facial tones. And I don't know, she actually killed it in this one. And I think when you could do that with a character and that, that actually leaves a sort of um, an undertaking kind of feeling to you as an audience member, I think that's what we need in films. And I think she portrayed that well. Leonardo DiCaprio did fantastic. Honestly, like this is one of his best performances I've seen. It's on the level of The Aviator. This is on the level of The Wolf of Wall Street. And one of my personal favorites on the level of Blood Diamond. Let me get one more dead body instead of aeroplane way full with grenade launchers. Something I go go to then government, huh? Then government at least then go pay me, huh? He did amazing in this because he goes through different different paths and he fully embraces that 1920s kind of aspect. You totally kind of see what he's doing and what he has to go through and whatnot. Yeah, this is another great performance. And then De Niro, of course, De Niro, the great De Niro. Um, De Niro, Scorsese, DiCaprio, Scorsese. I mean, these are these two duos is what we need. Scorsese's back at it, you guys. Like, this one thing I'd say is like, I of course have to go watch this. Even though it's three hours, 30 minutes, it is a long run time. I low-key felt it, but um, hey, I, I knew I had to go through it. Go use the restroom before you watch it. And just go watch it out in theaters if you have to, if you can. Um, Apple TV, no worries if you, if you have to watch it in streaming. Um, but yeah, this is a film that you need to see. Um, one of the best films out there, I think. It's one of his best recent films as of late. So this is better than The Irishman, in my opinion. This is better than Silence. Uh, not better than Wolf of Wall Street. So I give Killers of the Flower Moon a solid, a solid 8 out of 10. This is a film that is key Scorsese fans will love. I think people should just be prepared for like actually diving into a story and not having it run through. You're just into the story. Like you're literally in the setting. You're surrounded by whatever this Osage community is in. So yeah, guys, eight out of 10 film, go watch it. There's some trailer reactions I've done. If you want to go back, see the trailers. Uh, I remember trailer reaction one of Killers of the Flower Moon was one of my most viewed videos. So appreciate that for whoever watched that. But um, yeah, check that out if you want to. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Cheers and have a good one. Bye guys.